What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. I am not the single guy. Today, we're going to be talking about why women ghost. Why she ghosted you instead of just being honest. Why can't people just say, hey, I'm not interested? <laughs> well, we're going to talk about that, and there's you know, some pretty good reasons for it. And hopefully by the end you'll understand it. You know, my goal for you from this video is to come away having a better understanding of female psychology, psychology of people in general, because a lot of this stuff can be applied to both men and women. You know, there might be one reason that I go over here that's only applicable to women, but most of this stuff is universal. So you understand the process better, you understand the game more, because whether you want to or not, you're playing the game if you're in dating. Understanding that will allow you to get less frustrated. You know, I, there's very few times where I'll encounter a situation where I can't predict what's gonna happen next in terms of dating. And because of that, I know that, you know, these things are gonna happen. And as a result, I don't get frustrated. I don't get mad. You know, I don't experience nearly the same level of mistakes and frustrations I did in my, uh, my younger years. But when I do, because inevitably, like, things don't always end up exactly the way you want them to, I understand why. And the, the why builds such an incredible amount of confidence. So I want you guys to be able to have that. It's something that we talk about a lot in my coaching programs. So uh, we'll talk about this right now. The first reason I would say they don't want to be mean. Okay, they want to go about their life and pick the easy option. If you look at the grand sum total, ghosting someone is not the nicest thing to do. It's probably one of the meaner things to do. It would be nicer if you told them, hey, look, listen, I'm just not interested, and here's the reason why. That way, that person has constructive feedback. They won't do the same thing again. They won't keep making the same mistakes, and they can be better for the next person. But most people don't do that. In fact, very rarely will people do that. You know, they just want to kind of get by and, and, and do the right thing for them. And as a result, being nice is what they want, or they want to seem as being nice, okay? I actually don't think this is the most common reason, and I'll explain why in a second. But a lot of times, if they just decide they're completely not interested in you, and they ghost, it's, it's because they're, they're trying to be seen as nice, and they know if they get into that area, it's, it's gonna require a conversation, right? The second thing that women have told me is that they are afraid about the repercussions physically from the guy. You know, I had one girl who was telling me that she's afraid about, you know, guys getting angry and hurting her physically if they if she rejects them outright. And that's true in person, but not true over the phone because they're not there. You know, they're it's they're, you're probably never going to see that person again in reality. And if you're worried about the physical repercussions or you're worried about them getting angry, they're probably going to get angrier if you just say nothing and ignore them and don't give them a reason. So I think that's the weakest reason out of all of them, but it is something that uh, you know a lot of women will do. Um, another one that comes up is like she just gets really, really busy with things and you're not high in her priority list and so you kind of fade out. This is probably someone who, you know, maybe she likes you a little bit, but not that much. Right, And then the other option, which is I think probably the most common, and I'll explain why, is she kind of wants to keep you around as an option. Like A lot of women, when they go on a date with somebody and it goes kind of okay and they're just not really like feeling anything, they don't want to outright say, hey look, I'm just not interested. Because what if she talks to like a bunch of other guys and it doesn't work out? She still has that door open there. She still has you as an option. And so because of that, she doesn't want to tell you that she's not interested because she can't come back and say, hey, by the way, when I said I wasn't interested, I was just kidding. I actually am interested. I just been really busy. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's probably not going to say that. In reality, it's better to just kind of ghost somebody or slowly fade out. That way, when you come back, you can just say, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, I just saw this. I was, you know, she'll say X, Y, Z was happening. I was super busy, whatever. Okay, what are you up to this week? Okay, that was probably a better option for her in the long run if she wants to keep her options open. Because the truth is, when you go on a date or when you interact with somebody, it's like, for you to pick a yes or a no right then and there is like really tough. But if it's not like a hell yes, she's probably gonna look for more options. She's probably gonna look for other guides in the area that are gonna be better, a better fit for her. Okay, so for that reason, people like to keep their options open. And they, they like to, maybe she'll respond here and there, but she's probably gonna like slowly fade out because in the end, it's better to have more allies and more options than it is to have less options. And in the reality, people are gonna act in their own self-interest, even if they're, they consider themselves to be a really good person, they consider themselves to be a really nice or kind person, they're still gonna do this. Like, no matter what, 
I know there's a lot of older dating coaches out there that like really admonish people for ghosting. I'm a realist. Like ghosting's gonna happen. Like with technology and stuff like that, people are just gonna do it. And in reality, you have to prepare yourself for a realistic situation than some fantasy world where nobody's ghosting each other. It's going to happen and when it happens, now that you understand it a little bit better and you know, try not to be so harsh on yourself because a lot of times it's not just an outright like you suck, which I hope nobody's interpreting that as such. Um, it's more of a kind of in between, like she kind of wants to keep you around but it's not quite there yet. Uh, type situation. And the truth is, like men do this all the time too. I've done it, I've done it plenty of times. Um, it's not the proudest thing that, I'm <laughs> that I've done, but uh, it is something that I'm very aware of and I know other people are probably gonna do it to me in the future. So if you understand this process, then you're gonna be a lot less frustrated and I think it's gonna help you out a lot. So that's the why. If you want the how to deal with ghosting, what exactly to do, I highly recommend you check out some of my other videos. I have plenty of videos on ghosting and how to handle it and what to do better. It really comes down to knowing your worth and valuing yourself and going after things that are gonna give you the attention that you deserve. And that's really what it comes down to, you guys. So, if you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. Thanks for watching, y'all. There's links to free trainings and stuff in the description box below. You can take my mating intelligence quiz to see how smart you are when it comes to mating. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there.